In our Create React app project, the file that describes what's being displayed over here is in source app.js. So here you're seeing your first React component. So React is all about building components and putting components together to build bigger things. So here we see a single component. And the way I know that this is a component is because we have a class called app and it's extending component, which comes from React. So if we extend a component, that makes this class a component. Now, the other thing is this thing called render. So this is a function inside of the class app, and this is actually what is being displayed over here. So you wanna return um, this stuff right here, and this stuff right here is gonna be put and displayed over there. Now this stuff is called JSX. It looks a little bit like HTML, and it kind of is. It's a mix between HTML and then also being able to do JavaScript stuff uh, inside that and combine and display variables and whatnot. So the first thing with creating uh, apps in React is you're gonna make other components. So for example, here's one component and we can create another component up here, um, which I'm gonna call header. So we're gonna extends component and then I'm going to create a render function inside of it. And now I can have this display whatever I want. Now here I'm gonna take the header that I have right here and paste it in here. And now the header, I can actually render this component inside of other components. So I just treat it like a tag. And now we can see no visual change over here, um, but now we have a header um, that we have in a separate component. Now the other thing is we have a development server up and running that's being displayed over here on our website. And how that works is anytime we make a change over here, it's gonna be reflected over here. It's listening for changes, it's gonna refresh the browser. So it says, welcome to React. If I just say hi here instead and hit save, over here we're gonna see that reflected. And so now we can create as many components as we want um, and we can put whatever we want in the render function and we can build bigger components by putting those components together. Now, you saw this is how you can put together a component by creating a class, extending the component, but that's not the only way. There's also another way um, by creating a function. So we can say const body is equal to a function, and in this, it returns some JSX. So in this case, I'm gonna take this piece right here, and I'm gonna paste it inside of body, and now I can render a header and a body inside of my app. Um, and so this is the syntax for a function in JavaScript. There's multiple syntaxes you can use. So this is equivalent to this. So I can say curly brace return. Um, and those are equivalent. This is just a shorthand version of that. And then I can also turn this into an actual function or use the function keyword in JavaScript as well. Um, so here I can say function body, and then we can do this. And so you may be used to seeing uh, functions like this, but all these are equivalent functions. Um, I tend to use this one the most up here, just because it's the shortest, and you'll tend to see me do something like this for most components that I build out. And now there is a difference between building components as functions and components as classes, um, but we're gonna talk about the differences in the future. So that's pretty much an intro into creating your own custom components and then rendering those custom components by using the name and then creating basically using a tag. And by the way, you can do something like this, um, but I'm using Prettier, which will actually clean it up and close it into a single tag. So you can make it into a single tag like that. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.